Aha, I finally get to do this for you guys. This is my Traxxas Slash Ultimate. Many of you people have seen this already in the videos. Uh, the Bronco, the blue Pit Dog Hydro Bronco body, I run on this chassis. Uh, of course, my stock Mark Jenkins uh, short course body that comes with it. The Ultimate Edition basically comes with most of the upgrades, so I just kind of got it right out of the box. It's a great uh, vehicle, the Traxxas Slash 4x4. You know, it's a legend by itself. Some people love them, some people don't, but I'll tell you, it's it's a great all-around truck. It bashes hard and parts are readily available. Uh, anyway, I'm not here to talk about the Slash today. <laughs> you know all the hobbyists out there that run scale trucks or run you know, monster trucks, it doesn't matter. If you're out in the field, chances are your RC is going to flip at the farthest point. <laughs> The farther the RC, the farther away it's going to end up on its lid and you're going to end up going for a run. Which isn't too bad because I don't mind that myself. But if you're on a track and you're out having fun with your buddies and instead of going out there for the seventh time to go and flip your lid, uh, you actually had something like this. We've all thought of this in the past, uh, but my friends down at Torsional Concepts came out with the Rhino Force S2. Basically, it's a flip lid for your short course truck. Uh, it runs from a servo, you have to get your own servo, but everything in here, basically from what I know, I haven't opened it and really gone through it yet, uh, is supplied to make this flip lid work. Now, one thing I know you need for a short course, which I don't, or a short course truck, which I don't have on there now, is you got it. It needs a platform to actually uh, stick on, right? So here is the Intigy roll cage uh, that's for the slash 4x4. Be careful, if you're gonna get a roll cage, uh, they do offer one for a two-wheel drive as well, but it's different. I don't have the two-wheel drive one, so I can't tell you, but I know they offer it for both vehicles. Let's see here. Fits in something like that. Bolt here, bolt there, here, and back there. They're already existing holes, and here are the new bolts to bolt it down with. So now that I have the cage, I brought this in. You can find varying prices. I got it on eBay. Some of your local hobby stores will have it. Uh, but this is something that is required at the moment. I think they're working on one that you don't need the cage, but a cage out for my course uh, for when I'm bashing isn't such a big deal for me because it's lightweight. I have the low center of gravity chassis on here, and of course, this whole cage is lowered right down. So, what do we have? The Rhino Force S2 RC short course truck self riding system. Okay, here are some decals. Uh, warning, self right plate is engaged, stay clear of this area. So basically it's gonna be a lid that flips itself up. So when this is upside down, it's going to right the truck. That's nice, so you can drive it back and flip the lid back down. So I know in the instructions they ask you to use these warning um, uh, bars or decals. You know, of course that's up to you. I will, why not? This will go right in here. So in theory, I'll be cutting the lid and yes, you'll see some cut marks. To what extent, I don't know. I've seen some videos uh, on their uh, site, torsionalconcepts.com. So I've gone ahead and laid out everything I'm gonna need. The flip plate, the base plate, the servo, I already attached one of the horns uh, that comes with the servo and the little grommets that go in there. I did grab an extension cable. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, probably though, because these Savox servos you know, are known for having fairly short leads. Well, this, this model at least. Uh, here's the latch kit. So first thing I read in the instruction book, uh, or the instruction sheet, pardon me, here are the, uh, the springs left and right. Here are the uh, nuts and bolts for the servo. First thing I read is that we're going to be setting in a pin. All right, well, they all come in here, so let's have a look at what's in here. Spring, a rod. Here's what they're talking about right here. That's a good fit. Slides in, and it actually holds it. So I'm just centering it. Here you can see the pin is in and uh, secured on either side. All right, then comes the latch. So I need a good long screw <laughs> that's supplied with it. A spacer, seems pretty simple. Just putting it in like that. 
here comes the latch. Which direction does the latch go? So I see it's going to be like so. If I want the bottom hole, I do. So we can see the latching action, right? All right, next is simple. Just the spring. Well, simple. What's simple in RC? <laughs> That's a matter of opinion depending on what you're doing. All right, time for the servo. Now I could use the supplied nuts and bolts, uh, which is fine, and I might end up doing that, but the Savox servo actually comes uh, with nuts and bolts as well, but they have a bit more of a wider head on them, as you can see right there, okay? Oh yeah, that fits just nicely. Looking very nice. All snug, secure in place. This flip lid is really coming together. So there's the hook on the bottom, like a mousetrap. <laughs> no springs yet, I think that's now. Okay, so this is in place, uh, apart from attaching this small steering horn uh, arm. I believe that's the one right there. What does it say? So, so what I did was I stuck it through the end and I started to bend it. All right, open that up. Ta-da! dun 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 Eight times number 10, okay? And judging from the look of it, yep, it's gonna be this one. All right, so I got it right. I hope, torsional concepts, uh, I know that your uh, um, uh, diagram shows it a little bit differently, but these came together as close as I could, got it in there, and I gotta tell you, that's a huge mouse trap. <laughs> That's got a lot of force. So be careful because it says on the instructions, this is not a toy. This can actually hurt you, right? So there, I'm gonna put in the bolt on the other side. I've been careful that it hasn't been slipping out. And now that I got the springs in there, I'll tighten it up. Got a little over anxious before. All right, so I don't see anywhere that it says that I have to cut the cage uh, to mount the, the flip plate. But for me, with this on top, with this whole assembly having to sit underneath like that, right, I have to get rid of this inside. I've tried to figure out other ways, but I'm pretty sure that's what has to happen. If it's another way, I'm sure uh, torsional concepts will show you, but for me, I'm totally comfortable. With all these holes uh, around the outside, I'll just use the zip ties to tie it on. So, time to remove just this inside cross beam. All right, so I jumped ahead a little bit. I've plugged it in. I've also plugged in the Savox into the receiver, the servo into the receiver. The reason why I've done that and I haven't connected the throttle linkage yet is because I'm going to want to set up on my radio one of my switches to actually be the release mechanism. So I've set it up as aux 1 under my switch settings. So aux 1 on my D channel right here is just a two position switch. Now I'm also going to want to limit the, um, the switch by adjusting the travel. And I've done that by going down into aux one and turning it down to 40%. What does that do? It limits the travel of this horn. So every time it releases, because it only needs to release a little bit, it's only gonna move 40% in either direction. So the AVC receiver that I have in there is ready to go. So I'm gonna unhook this and I'm going to attach the servo uh, flip lid right now. Might as well do it off to that side, why not? Doesn't matter, I guess which side you wanna have it on. I'm gonna do it on this side actually, look at that. Might even actually have enough room uh, where I don't need an extension. Woohoo! I love discovering these kind of things. Okay, let's use those zip ties. Where are they? Nice. Nice and clean. There's that flip lid, it's activated. So this is under pressure right now. You gotta be really careful. There we go, just like that. Hopefully I have these in right. If I don't, I'll update you guys on how I change them. Like I said, torsional concepts may have a different way altogether. All right, so there we go. 
The receiver box is closed. I made sure to put a dab of grease in here as well so I don't get any water in there once I resealed it. Hooked up the, the steering, uh, or not the steering, pardon me, hooked up the servo linkage you can see right there. Tested it out back and forth just to make sure it didn't overthrow. And of course the lid undone because it's not being used so I don't want to keep it under pressure but it's time to test it out. Here's the mechanism actually at work so here is the button. Watch the little hook. Beautiful. Just going to engage the flip lid here. Clicked into place. Oh the first the first one here, let's back up the camera so you can see everything here. There's my radio. Flip of the button. Whoa, that's a lot of force. If your fingers were in the way, you'd be like, bah! <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's do it again. That's a lot of force to flip the truck, so keep clear. Boom! I have an idea right away. Remember, this is not a toy, even though I'm about to play with it. <laughs> a small package of nuts and bolts. Action! <laughs> Remember this template I showed you in the beginning? A very important piece. This is so you can cut your roof properly and not overcut. All right, now I already used the template to cut out the lid of my Traxxas Slash. This is why I'm using my stock body, just like that. Looks like I could trim it a little bit more up front. Let's see, but it still pops up. I'm okay with that. Now, with this piece, I can put it right back on and just tape it, and you barely can even tell that it's in the way. Ah, what a beautiful day. Well, end of the day, rather. But there it is. On my Traxxas Slash 4x4. Get out of my way there. There we go. Sunlight was in your guys' eyes. I love sunlight, though. Nothing wrong with that. Check that out. It's like you're looking into the brain of it. So, torsional concepts. The Rhino Force S2 short course truck self writing system well self write system or basically a flip lid <laughs> it's kind of neat when you can look right inside okay so i did tape it down uh, i did use double-sided tape but it comes up with such force uh, the tape it just doesn't hold it properly so might as well click it down shall we get started i think so trying some of my worst driving and I still can't flip it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Trying to catch a rock or a dip just to flip me. There we go, we got it. The magic zone. Here we go. It's not too bad, not completely on its roof. Torsional concepts, Rhino Force S2. Now for fun, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. Reset it. Flip it over, just because we all want to see what'll happen when it's on its roof, of course. In three, two. Beautiful, just the way it's supposed to. 